Hi, I think I'm gonna sell my house. Now I just walked up this path here, and if you go a little over half a mile that way, you get to where my car is, where you can park. At least the easy place to park. And continue past this, down this path a little bit, and you get to where my house is up there, and there's some other buildings down there. But this is roughly my uh, property border, and there's 25.4 acres of gorgeous beautifulness going this way which has served me very well. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, dude, why would you sell such an awesome place? You love that place and it's so cool and blah, blah, blah. Well, there's two main reasons. Uh, one is that I have wanted to live by the ocean since long before I bought this place. And this place is amazing. I wish I could take it to the ocean with me. But, you know, it's in Vermont and there's no ocean here. And the other reason is I have two kids and I'm the only adult who lives up here who can carry those kids up and down the mountain. So I spend a lot of time carrying my kids up and down the mountain. And I mean, which is fine. But then in addition, anytime I go anywhere for a few days, I have to make sure the kids and their mom have somewhere else to stay, which is kind of frustrating if I go like on a business trip for a week or two, especially if I don't know how long it's gonna be. Anyway. I'm gonna sell it. I've got some other adventures in store. That, I mean, that's what it really comes down to. I got other adventures waiting for me. And hopefully someone else can enjoy this beautiful place. Now, I'll show you the whole, whole joint. Okay, this is the path. And see, pretty nice forest everywhere. And then you get to here. This is the first building you come across at my place. It looks kind of like Luke Skywalker's house, except in forest instead of desert. Especially as you come down to the door side. Now this building has never been inspected, and I'm sure anyone with official papers and stuff would call it condemned, and it's a dangerous place. But anyway, inside this building, it's kind of hard to see, but behind this little uh, concrete dam is a spring, and that's where the water comes from that I drink, and it comes out of this little squirter right here. And that's the tastiest water I've ever had. The thing I miss most when I'm not here is the tasty, delicious water. And then you can also, you know, keep yogurt and stuff in this water because it's freezing cold. And there's a drain to go out. And you know, there's some windows in here. But anyway, this thing is a concrete dome I made, I don't know, several years ago, four or five years ago. And a tree has fallen on it and it, it doesn't have a single crack. I mean like a big tree, like a two foot diameter tree huge thing, landed on it, scraped down the side, made a big scrape, not a crack. So anyway, that building is really cool. I want to build another one of those sometime. Um, then we walk away from that a little bit and we go over to here. This building does have some damage. This is my workshop. Oh, and I also have a, a lumber mill over there. I can't I can't say you should use it because it's kind of dangerous. Anyway, here's this thing I call the banana building. It's my workshop and it has some damage. I mean, really, all my buildings here have never been um, inspected by anyone, which is the way I like it because, you know, this is way out in the woods and no one comes up here, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm sure if I'm selling it, the real estate people will say, you can't claim those buildings because they're condemned. So I'm just gonna show you what's here and you can whatever, whatever. Anyway, so there's this huge airplane hangar here and it's full of all kinds of tools and stuff, which, you know, I can remove. Or if someone wants tools, we go past the building a little bit and down this little path, we get to this thing which is a big tub that's filling up right now. And you know, it's good for um, cannonballs and stuff. And then there's a ram pump right here. And if you don't know what a ram pump is, just look it up. But this pumps water like all the way up to the dome, which is the house way up there. Oh, uh, and here's the airplane hangar workshop from the, from the front. All right, we go up this way to get to the dome. And here's a little uh, rope climb. My two-year-old can do this rope climb. It's not that hard. And there's the house up there. So we came up the path and up here we've got a, 
a covered like outdoor cooking kitchen area and you know laundry stuff whatever <laughs> oh there's also a generator down here and lots of kids toys because I have kids oh and this thing here that's a rocket stove I think the name's kind of silly but whatever and there's the, the house there oh stainless steel stove pipe that thing will last forever and here's the front door over here it says Jamie house my camera's not picking it up because it's too bright but you know you'd probably want to change that to Bob house or Susan house or whatever your name is there we go in here you have to excuse the mess you know I would need at least like a week or so notice to get all my stuff out of here I can't tell you how awesome it is having a giant thing of windows anyway the first floor is divided by a wall it's like the only wall in the whole building and in here is like kitchen stuff and there's a wood stove to cook on and to heat the house it heats the house no problem and over here is the bathroom back there and you know there's a couch and hangout area and like a giant mess that my kids made this morning which is awesome and behind this chalkboard is the batteries for the house and there's solar panels up on the roof and you know charge controllers and all that junk and there's lots of shelving in this house you'll notice that it's mostly covered by things at the moment but it can easily be cleaned out okay we take these stairs up to the second floor or you can climb up the monkey bars which is also fun but anyway up the stairs and here's like the kids disaster area which is you know the playroom and there's a slide that comes down from upstairs because I'm like a giant kid and over here this is my bedroom and yeah my little workshop area my computer and stuff but you know other people can do whatever they want with it and up here also the walls are lined by shelves all over the place because there's this steel pipe uh, dome frame and then the outer wall is about a foot and a half past that so that space between is all shelving for lots of stuff you know like laser cutters and laser printers 3d printers and stuff so that's the second floor down there and you come up another flight of stairs that's you know got safety fencing and netting all over the place it's very safe up here because I have a two-year-old who runs around the house by herself but anyway the third floor is mostly trampoline which you know is pretty self-explanatory it's super fun and that's what I wanted to do and there you go and here's the entrance to the slide to get down to the second floor if you don't want to take the stairs and there's a big movie screen there there's a projector that hangs out over here and yeah, I could leave that with the house for sure and behind here is just you know more space someone's bedroom and the baby's bedroom is back here and if you well this ladder normally sits up against the wall but if you bring it down you can climb up to the fourth floor which is just uh one room all right let's go so this is the fourth floor room it's got you know fancy paintings on the walls and there's lots of uh shelving up here too these are all styrofoam boxes that have been spray foamed in place the whole dome is very well insulated um, it either has styrofoam boxes like these or just four by eight sheets of foam you know all the way around it except for the windows and the windows are two ply with an extra layer of mylar on the inside so really they're three ply three ply windows and from this room you can go through this door here you just take well take that off and you know turn these little latches and the door opens and you can get out get out onto the roof and if you walk around the roof on the other side of this wall there are solar panels which you can see if you stick your head out the window but um, I mean there's no need to mess with the solar panels they've been there for like four years five years working totally fine so yeah that, that's pretty much my joint Oh, and in the summer, it's always important to leave this doorway open and the window, wait, where's the window? The window over there, open too. I mean, the screen's on. But leave the window open so the hot air blows 
up and through because there's lots of windows and it gets hot otherwise. Although the roof out here does have some overhang, so you don't get too much uh, sunlight in in the summertime. But in the winter, the sun is a lot lower, so it just blows right in all these huge windows here. and heats the place up a lot, so it's really cool in the winter. Anytime the sun's out, the place gets as hot as you want. Oh, and here's my monkey bars from this level. Of course, you know, I've also got various t-shirts hanging on my, my child barrier, but you can just ignore those. <laughs> so this building has never been, you know, safety inspected either or anything. I live in it and a tree fell on it and didn't make a, any damage at all. Well, it scraped the roof a little bit, but I mean, the thing is super strong. But, you know, I'm sure I have to say something like, it's a condemned building, I'm just selling empty land. Anyway, 25.4 acres, and it's gorgeous. It goes like that way for a while and that way for a while. Um, I can show you a map with all the, the boundary points. But, it, I mean, it's lots of space. To be left alone as much as you want. Or, you know, it's a great place to hang out and have a party. Alright, I'm out of here. So yeah, does anyone want to buy this place? Awesome zombie retreat when, you know, when the zombies show up and stuff. Um, I've got other adventures to do that are calling to me. So I feel like I need to go do them. And it doesn't cost a lot. I mean, the land taxes on this place are really low, so I could just keep it. But I would feel like it's being kind of wasted just sitting here with no one using it. So I think it would be really cool if someone who really liked sustainability and living out in the woods and you know being zombie prepared uh if someone like that wanted it that would be really cool and could come and enjoy it as much as i have okay i have to go work on my new adventure okay yeah i am freaking out a little bit right now cold feet and all that but there really is this adventure that i just have to go do oh yeah so if someone wants to make an offer <clears throat> or come and check the place out, just uh, send me an email. I'll put my email down here. It's on my website anyway. Okay. Oh, and for anyone who cares about this stuff, my house is also famous. It's been featured in various newspaper articles and Wired magazine a couple times, and on TV and a couple different things like uh, Daily Planet, which is this Discovery Channel show. Oh, been on the news a couple times not for anything bad just for good stuff because you know it's a cool house okay oh i almost forgot okay there's no road access up here at the moment i do have like a service road like i've gotten up here in my four-wheel drive pickup truck before um but vermont law does uh what's the word does favor getting road access legal road access into landlocked properties and I have a bunch of information on that stuff. And actually, within a few years, something might happen that would make it very, very easy anyway. But supposedly, it should be pretty easy to get road, road access up here. If you feel like getting into all that legal mumbo jumbo, which I don't, so I never did it. Um, I also just like walking up here. But, you know, I have a bunch of information on that too.